Hi, I'm Mike Guy. I'm the founder and author of the Genesis Process, and I've been trying to understand the mystery of human behavior for over 50 years and 40 years as a Christian. And so trying to understand the mystery of when people want to change, why they're not able to change, working with addicts became my focus. The way the processes go helps you grow helps you process things, helps you learn how to change a lot of your behaviors. Because before I wasn't a very nice person. And today I, I am. I am a person that you can come to. I am a person that you can trust. I am a person that you can talk to and share your ideas with. So the Genesis process really helps. I think what is unique about Genesis is we look at addiction or any destructive behavior as a symptom. And rather than just try to control the symptom, we try to go after what it's there for. For example, food addiction, where you would say, rather than dieting, we would say, why do you eat when you're not hungry? And so that, we answer that question, you your real recovery, you know, begin. I have choices today, and I never realized that I had a choice. And today, the Genesis process gave me that, gave me a relationship with God, gave me a way to be open and honest with another human being. The Genesis process has been successful for a couple of things. One, it gives people a sense of hope. And hope comes from that somebody understands why I do the very things I don't want to do. And not only do they understand it, but they have a program that will it actually addresses, you know, what is broken in me that keeps me from being so destructive. I'm grateful for the Genesis process. I'm grateful for the relationship that I got to build with the with, with Pam and Ruby. I know that I can go to them at any time and talk to them and let them know where I'm at and what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling, even when I'm angry. They get it. They they just they understand and they get it. And that's all because of the Genesis process. It's all because of the Rockford Rescue Mission saved my life. I don't want to. I don't want to get high today. I want to do whatever it takes, just not to pick up that first one.